Hello, my name is Leo Wayne. I'm the CEO of Mika AI Medical. We are based in Israel, in Tel Aviv. Mika is an early detection of breast cancer solution with the goal to assist and support the radiologist, oncologist, and physicians. I have a vast experience in the life science arena. I hold a few patents and I have a vast experience in the Chinese market. I've been a lot in China. I won the Shenzhen Innovation Competition a few years ago in the third prize. Our chairman, Mr. Yaakov Perry, he was the head of security services and the minister of science and technology in the Israeli government. Our partners have a vast experience from the best hospitals in Israel. Professor Skler, she is the head of radiologist in Sheba Hospital, one of the 10 best hospitals in Israel and in the world. Dr. Ronnie Weizen is an oncologist. Dr. Dubita Markin, Miss Bella Wu, she is a Chinese and live in Israel, and Miss Lilia Schwarzman from the IT and technologies from the best companies in Israel. Unfortunately, we can see that in the last year, the breast cancer became very common in China, and there are more than 300,000 cases a year in China alone. The Chinese government took a decision to adopt the Healthy China 2030 project, and one of the goals are to prevent breast cancer. As we can see, it became the most prevalent cancer among Chinese women. And the idea is to prevent it in advance. Mika is based on three major technologies. The ability to find all the suspicious, compare and show over the time all the suspicious to the doctors. We are focusing on breast cancer for young women with what we call the dense breast. We already launched the platform and it's already tested with 5,000 women and achieved an amazing result. We increased the accuracy to 90% and decreased the unnecessary biopsies by 35%. And the third a platform is a mobile app that will allow any women to store and keep all the memograms for herself. Let's play a short game. On the left side, you see the old image. On the right side, the new image. Now, try to compare between them and find the differences. As you can see, it's very challenging. And now, maybe a little bit easier, but it's also challenging. How many differences between the dogs? One, two, five. And now, much more challenging. Now think about the doctor that trying to find the differences between the mammograms. As you can see, two doctors are sitting together and trying to find the suspicious and the differences between the images. It's very, very challenging and very, uh, uh, it's a big problem to find the differences between the images. Also, it's a big market. There are more than 250 million checkups every year. And this is a huge market of millions and billions of dollars. And there are a lot of technologies out there. But most of the analysis of mammograms are done manually. That means it can't be accurate, it can't be efficient, it takes time, and it's very expensive. Unfortunately, one of eight women will develop a breast cancer. This is the most common cancer among women all over the world, not just in China. 
and when it's late, it's too late. If the doctor will find the beginning of the cancer on the early stage, the survival rate will be very high. But when it's late, it's only 15%. That's how Mika came to the table. We developed the 3D technology to diagnose earlier, to decrease time, decrease uh, uh, money and cost, and more important, to be a decision support system to the doctors. We are not going to replace the doctors. We are a decision support platform that will support their decision. Mika is based on AI and machine learning and big data. We have millions of medical images, of mammograms images. This is already patent granted in the United States. In a, in a few months will be in Europe and in Israel. It's based on SaaS. That's mean that we provide the platform everywhere, anywhere. And more important, it's already used and tested in the Sheba hospital with more than 5,000 women. This is a real images of a dense breast. As you can see in the left side, it looks like a fog that covers the image. So the doctors can't see what is behind that. By using Mika, we can make the image much more brighter and much more understandable to the doctor. As you can see in the left side, there is something different than all the other organ and all the other tissue. But if we go back, you can see that we can saw it, but not very clear. Look here, you see? But by using Mika, we can show it to the doctor. We can mark this area. And now we will launch Mika and we'll ask, what is it? And by pressing the button in a second, the doctor will get all the results. We can show him that in that case, it might be a malignant. So we believe that the doctor will take a decision to do the biopsy. This is more than 73% that this area is cancer. And we are based on three major uh, data. One, pattern recognition, border, color, diameter, etc. Second, the birats. The birats, the birats this is the the, the measurements to realize what is the risk factor for that woman. And the third one is personalized medicine. We take a lot of data regarding the patient, where she came from, age, weight, etc., etc. So the combination of all of those, those uh, data will allow us to support the doctor decision. Now, more than that, based on that, that mammography is text held every year or a two, we can compare and show all the suspicious to the doctors. They don't need to play games like we played, like we played at the beginning with the docs. We can show them immediately all the suspicious. So based on that, as we said in the beginning, by using the platform in Shiva Hospital, they achieved an amazing results. Increase the accuracy to 92% and decrease the unnecessary biopsies by 35%. That's mean less pain, save money, save time, and give the best treatment to the patient. To summarize, Mika is the first in the world that using a dense breast solution for women already tested at the Shiba hospital with more than 5,000 women. We have a huge amount of data, more than 130,000 sets, patent granted. We have the best team in the world. We are going to achieve CFDA, CE, and FDA, and we have a solid business plan. The business plan is based on the idea that we can charge pay per use. That means 10 up to $50 per checkup. As you can see, the projected income for the coming five years 
it's more than $100 million. I believe it's very realistic since we talked about paper use, small amount, about 10 up to $50, and we can achieve this uh, uh, projection. There are a few competitors out there, but if you will look, you will find that Mika is the first in the world that brings the ability to find suspicious, compare between them, and bring innovative technology for dense breast. Mika, we interface to the Chinese market, and we are now trying to find the best partners and the best collaborations in China. What we are looking for and what our plans are to complete in the coming two years, the CFDA, complete the uh, privacy like HIPAA and GDPR and the Chinese regulation, I believe we can achieve more than 95%. We can decrease the unnecessary biopsies by 40%. We can connect to the Chinese uh, uh, hospitals, to the Chinese equipment. That's what we are looking for uh, from the Chinese uh, collaboration where it talks about JV in China to establish an entity and to bring the innovation into China and, bring, and uh, fund together an Israeli-Chinese company located and based in China. We are looking for data, we are looking for KOLs, we are looking for physicians, hospital, investors to work together with the government and the local uh, companies in China. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Cheers.